that, instead of that, it's just a cough. Here we go. Wow, that's not good. Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny is here. <laughs> We're laughing because this one's coughing, that one's coughing. I have not coughed yet. I'm saving mine for the show, I promise, because it'll happen. If you took any of my classes over the weekend, you know the cough happens. All righty, well, ladies. We got and through it. Oh, we did. We got through those two classes. Look what we're doing today. I think this is super fun. When I was um, playing with my postcard builder stamp, first off, let me tell you something. I have scattered brains. If I get scattered today, it just is what it is. Um, I was playing with the postcard builder stamp set the other day, and I thought, how cute would it be just to make a bunch of post, uh, postage stamps and like have them fall down like this? And then I was like, but it needs some background. And I dug into some of my old stamps, which I love. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to show you how to do this. Now, you'll notice that I called the title Stressing About Distressing. Here's why. <coughs> I don't do this kind of grunge look very well. I don't do this kind of stressy look very well. I'm struggling with my camera today. There we go. I don't do this kind of distressed look. I'm more of a clean line person. Oh, they say we're echoing. I don't know why. Let me see. I might know why. Is your computer mic on? Mic's on, but you know, we had this issue yesterday. Hang yeah, on, guys. Off. Hang on, guys. I think I know what it is. Let me go here and turn this. Okay, is that better? Sorry, y'all. We were messing with the mic yesterday. Okay. We were trying to fix the mics yesterday and we couldn't figure out what was happening and so we thought it might have just been us, but I think I, I think I had a separate mic on. I think it was me. Okay. Whatever so, it was, that fixed it. Okay. Comments. So up. what I was talking about is I titled this video Stressing About Distressing. And the reason is because I'm not very good at this grunge look. I like more clean lines, but this grunge look is really a cool thing if you can do it right. So I thought we'd play today and see what we could do. I don't know. How do you like the card? I think the card's cute. Let me just show you. And look, here's the cool thing. If you don't like the grunge look, you can always do it not grungy. So here's what I did. I'm starting with, I'm really loving the, I'm leaning to these a lot, these, these Mente books. I'm really loving them. I'm starting with the Damask or the Damask. Everybody, well, I say everybody. We say we say whatever comes out. I know. Like in the South, I've heard Damask, I've heard Damask, like it, whatever. So it's Pecan, Pecan, whatever. <laughs> so I'm using the Pecan. Basic Book 6, and I love this kind of paley pink color. It's that one right there, the paley color. And if you look here, it's darker on the back side. I'm going to use the lighter side. And what I'm going to do, I'm not good at this free handy stuff, so I'm kind of giving myself some parameters, but don't worry, it's fine. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm putting this down on my cutting mat. And I'm going to make a mark an inch and a quarter in at the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to take my ruler again. You don't have to do this, okay? I'm going to take my ruler, and I'm going to do the lightest pencil touch you've ever seen. You got, won't even be able to see it, <clears throat> but I can see it. Um, there'll be lots of drink breaks, y'all. But I can see it. And it's really just a guide so that I kind of stay on target. I don't know why my monitor's bothering me today. Okay, so then I went to a couple of stamp sets. These are oldies but goodies. I'm gonna be using, our oldest one is called Relic. Our smaller set is called Relic. I love this guy. We're gonna be using these two paint dots from it, okay? And then our bigger set, <clears throat> which is called Patina. These are just stamp sets you need in your stash. If you struggle with masculine cards, these are great for your masculine cards. I'm going to start with this guy right here from Patina. You guys probably, a lot of you guys already have this stamp set because it's, it's been around. We're digging in some really old stuff today. All right, let's get inks out. Here's what we're going to use. We're going to use Charming Pink, Glamorous, Morning Mist, and Nocturne. That's our first ones we're going to use. Okay, so I'm just going to open all these lids. And just get this going. You know what that means? Two things. One, I won't have to open a lid every time. And two, it will be on the side of my arm at some point in time. 
Coffee. I will put my arm in there. So it's going to happen. That. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> I may slide these up a little bit so you guys can really see what I'm doing. I had to move my monitor, so I'm struggling seeing it. Y'all can see the colors now. There they are right there. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with this guy, and I started with the pink. So I'm just going to tap into the pink, and here's the beauty of this. You're looking for a grunge look. She so don't really care if it's perfect. And I'm just going to go to that line and just kind of on it and off of it, do some grungy paint-looking splotches. Splodges. Up here like so. Splodges. So I'm starting with that one. Then I'm going to take my impeccably clean cloth. I'm going to make sure it's impeccably clean like mine. <laughs> I ordered you some new ones. Vinny ordered me some new ones. That's how bad he feels about my cloth. He ordered me some new ones. Because, y'all, I, I just use these sad. till That's they're like dead. the second or third time it's gone to the garbage. It is, and I pulled it back out because I need it. Oh. Okay, now I'm going to go to Morning Mist, the gray. And I'm going to just come in here around here and do some more of this. See, I'm not good at, okay, so like when you see all these people do these beautiful, I'm going to splatter with a paintbrush or a toothbrush. or That just is messy, and I just get that everywhere. So I want fake splatter. I want these stamps to make it look like I have splattered stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not, I just don't want to play with all that messy. That's the truth. Let's be honest. Mame does not like playing with all of that messy, having to have a cardboard box. <laughs> I don't like all that stuff. I just don't like it. So that's what I did with that particular image. Then I'm going to take from Patina, the bigger set, the brick wall. I love this. And you get it in two sizes. You get it here and you get it in the smaller one. And I'm going to use the bigger one. And I'm going to use Nocturne for this one. And because I want to make sure I get it good and covered, I'm going to do it like this. Put that back down there. And here I'm just going to stamp it. And I'm stamping it a couple times. I stamped it at the bottom and then I'm going to turn it around and stamp it again up here kind of at the top. I just love how this makes it look like I'm a mixed media artist and I'm not. You see it? Because I don't mix media. But this makes it feel like that, you know. So let me bring this back up this way. All right, now for the fun part. I love these little, these little paint splotches from Relic. I love these. Love these. Here's one. Here's two. These are just fun. And I'm going to do these in red. You see how I'm using all the colors? So I'm going to splotch here, splotch up here. Remember, on and off the page, because that's what makes it look like a whole, you know, like we cut it away from paper. So there's those splotches. Gosh, do those look like blood? They don't look like blood, do they? They kind of do. They don't. I don't know. They hide in the background. They do? They don't? They do. They don't. <clears throat> and then what I did was I went back in, I wiped off that ink, and I went back in with the gray and did the same thing with morning mist and just kind of sort of where those are <laughs> did that I just wanted it to look messy pretty fun right I mean that is fun to do so that's what I did there now to finish off our background we'll finish off the background before we move on I'm taking walnut stain and I am really inking because I thought this grungy card needed this And that is our background done. Like, that's all there is to the background itself. Now we get to do the building of the little stamps, which I think are so cute. Okay. So, let's move this guy out of the way. Here's what you're going to need. If you're making it like I did, you're going to need eight, three and a quarter. I mean, no, 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 no. Let me say that again. You're going to need eight, three quarter inch by one inch pieces. These are three quarter by one inch. Do I have eight? Two, four, six, eight. I do. And then the little postage stamp from Postcard Builder. Also, let me tell you this because I realized this when Shannon and I were talking. <laughs> if you don't have relic or patina, you could use these pieces to grunge up your background too. You know what I'm saying? You could grunge up with this and this and this. You could do all that kind of stuff too. So I didn't think about it. I just pulled out my stamp sets. All right. Now we're going to have some fun. We're going to use Nocturne. And I'm going to stamp this with Nocturne on every one. And I do not care if they are perfectly centered, straight, and even. Because the way these are going to land on the 
card itself, you're not going to pay attention to that. So we're just going to make some little stamps. I just think this is adorable. I think you could do this for a lot of stuff. That's why I wanted to do it. I just wanted to play with making little stamps. It's very cute. I love how it turned out. Also, if you're not into the grunge, just leave these white. You know, I mean, not white, but just don't grunge them. Don't ink them and all that. Just let them be little stamps. Rough up the edges. I want to show you something you can do that I had forgotten about till the workshop I was in last week. And I'm like, why do I never do that anymore? Let me get a little piece here and show you guys. I'm just going to eyeball it instead of pulling out my trimmer. So this won't be right, but no, my eyeball was way off on that one. But I want to show you this. So you do the little stamp like this. Let me trim that. That looks ridiculous. That's another thing you can do is you could stamp them and then just trim them out. But I want to show you this because we've forgotten this. These are these are forgotten techniques. Some people still do them. Fingernail file and rough up these. I don't want to do it over here, but you just rough up the edges. I'm going to do it over my trash can, okay? And then I'll come back. Now, some of you guys might not be able to handle that. My nails on the board. <laughs> but you can see how half of it's kind of roughed up now and the other half isn't because I didn't do it. But you can do that and you can ink it and it would be really cute. But forgotten techniques, that's what I think that is. <clears throat> um, the lady from 49 and Market was roughing up papers with it and I was like, that's so brilliant. <coughs> okay, now we're gonna continue with some more stamping. So here's what you're gonna wanna do, okay, at this point. You're gonna wanna You're going to want to pull those little stamps off your little blocks and bring those over. And any of your little blocks will do. And by the way, do I have good news for you guys? Hang on a second. I'm so excited mm, about this. Early. Huh? You're going early. Yeah, because they, they have been looking for this, and I'm excited about it. We got these in, okay? Everybody wants my little block. I actually have these, too, because I bought this set myself back in the day. There's the little block. The big one out <laughs> and the big one so you get both of these in this we just got this back in stock y'all grab these there's more stuff if you want to wait till the after show but finally we have these back and bonus you get all these guys too they're really good so if you want to use those blocks you can do that as well that's what I cut my tape with everybody always asks me about that OBKB where'd my stamp set go let me find her let me find her is it right there by your mouse Right there by your mouse? Yes, thank you. Anytime. Right here in front of your face? That's what you should do. Right there in front of your right face. Right in front of your face. So in this little stamp set, what I love is all these little icons. I'm going to be using the rings. I use the heart, the crown, the balloons, the stars, the envelope with the heart coming out of it, the truck, the word love, and maybe something else. I don't know. But I'm just going to show you like that so I can just run through. And what I did was just kept my inks open. Because they match, just dip in, stamp on. So there's the rings. I'll, I'll show you those up close in a minute. And then take your little cloth, wipe that ink off, put it back, and keep going. So let's do the crown. I think the crown is so cute. And I did the crown with the heart. Let me show you. I did the crown in gray. So I did the crown sort of at the top of my stamp. And then I took the little heart, which we're going to stamp it twice, so I can do that now too. Took the little heart, and underneath that... I stamped it in red underneath the crown. I thought that was kind of cute. Yeah, cute, right? And then in pink, I just did it by itself over here. Just a little heart. So you just kind of decorate. I love this. This is fun. Okay, and then I did this. I took the word love, and in pink, I stamped it sideways, and this worked out so well. You know, sometimes postage stamps have the words going sideways. Have you ever noticed that? Yes. And I think it's cute. So there's that. And then I'm going to take the balloons. And I used the balloons twice. Let me pull the truck, too, because I thought this was cute. So I took the truck, and what color did I stamp this truck in? I'm surely red. I wouldn't have done it in another color. So I stamped the truck at the bottom of the little stamp like this, kind of hanging on and off. It doesn't matter. And then I took the little balloons and did them in gray like they were coming off the truck itself. I thought that was a cute little stamp. You can just build, build, build. Play, play, play. 
Oh, I did the balloons by themselves too in red. And then the stars. I love the stars. So I did the stars in two colors. I did red stars at the bottom of my stamp here. And then in black, I did them at the top. So a star stamp. <coughs> and then, there's one more. What was my other one? What am I forgetting? The cupcake? Did I use the cupcake? Where'd my, where'd my card go? What was my other one? Oh, the little envelope. It's so cute. The little envelope has a heart coming out of it. So cute. Did it like that. Doesn't really matter what you do, as long as you get eight of them. Then, I dug into an oldie but a goodie, y'all. You guys love this stamp set. You have since we released it. It's called The Fine Emotions. And I love, love, love the definition of love right here. I just like, I think on Valentine cards, it is so cute. So I'm going to use that little definition. And I took a piece of um, white cardstock. This guy is two and a half by an inch, I think. Um, <clears throat> and I did it in, I actually can put these up now because I'm through with them. So let me put these away. Because I went for my sentiment, as always, I like my VersaFine Onyx Black. I just think it's richer, thicker. Um, and stamps really, really well. I mean, you could use Nocturne, but Nocturne is not black, 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 like my <clears throat> Onyx Black is. So here's Onyx Black, and here's Love. And then I stamped it just a little off-center. I'll show you why. Did it like that. And now, you distress. Before I distress though, I'm going to ribbon cut the end of this guy, like fishtail it. So I just do a little nip like this. And then I do from corner to the center and from corner to the center, just like so. And now we can distress. So back to walnut stain. Now let me show you what I did. On this guy, I just kind of went straight up and down, just a little bit. I don't want too much. I'm not trying to cover up my sentiment or anything like that. And a lot of times it's just really simple just to do this. And you only have to do, you don't have to do this end down here because we're going to cover that up. Then on these, watch this. I'm doing corner, 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 and corner. And it does all I need it to do. I don't have to try to get all the way around it. You just do the four corners and it works. Forgotten Techniques, great. I, it is, a, I, I have done a couple of Forgotten Technique videos recently, um, but we have like second generation stamping. Um, Amber has worked for me for five years this year. This will be her fifth year that we're coming up on. And she didn't know what second generation stamping is. And I'm like, wow, we got a lot of techniques that we don't bring out like we used to. So it is awesome. I'm telling you, somebody said the VersaFine, the Onyx Black is amazing. It is, can't beat it. And just the corners. I'm not even. I'm not even stressing about the middles at all. And you, and it's perfect. It's what you want because it just kind of breaks up the corner. Boom. Now, another place that I struggle so hard is randomness. <laughs> Do you struggle with random? I struggle with, if you're a clean line person. Random's not your thing. And I struggle with this whole randomness of the whole thing. So I'm going to show you what I did. Because me and random. Everything's supposed to be symmetrical. Everything has, yeah. <laughs> and I don't do random well. So here's what I did. I decided that I was going to lift up one stamp first. I was going to set this stamp and I was going to set my sentiment first and work around it. Okay. I, in the past, I would have laid all these guys out and then taken a photo and tried to do it and did it. That's too much. It, you don't need to do that. So here's what I did. I took a foam dot. Don't be judging me. <laughs> Shannon. But I mean, I would do it too. Yeah. But you don't have to. I'm going to show you this. I took a foam dot, okay, put it on the back of one of the little stamps and put him kind of where I wanted him. He's about 
I'm looking at my other one. He's about an inch and a quarter up, somewhere like that, okay? So he's lifted up. So then I just took my glue and added it here and really only to the little center part of this. I just used this glue. Why are you? There you go. Thank you. Okay. Really only to kind of the center because I want it to kind of be grungy. And then I tucked it underneath. Actually, let me cut a little bit of that off. I meant to do that. So I'll do it with these. So I'm going to do it over my trash can so it don't glue itself somewhere. Yeah. So you don't need quite all of that because I just want it to live just like that, just under there. And one thing you're going to want to do is lift it up and make sure you're straight. If the stamp is not straight, I'm not real worried about it. I just want my sentiment straight. Okay, and then the other thing I did was I took another stamp, whichever one you want, and I want to lift one more up. I'm only going to lift two up of the whole thing. Okay. And then, I love symmetry too, Margaret. I'm a symmetry person. Then this one I popped up here because I knew that's kind of where I would want them popped up. And then for the rest, I glued them down. So I worked my way around these guys. So I just kind of went like this, stuck one down there. Yeah, I'm cheating. I'm looking at what I did because I, it, you know. And then I stuck one here-ish, like the bridge between these two. Then, let me show you this. I put a little glue on the end of that stamp and then I put glue at the base of this one. And so when I laid this one down, I actually made it look like they had landed, like I had dropped them and they'd kind of landed on each other. Isn't that cute? I think that's really cute. Then I took this little stamp and I'm going to let him hang off the bottom. Don't fret. I think it needs to happen. Let him hang off. Then this little guy, because I did his word sideways, I thought it was cute at the top. So I let him be my highest one and I did him up here like this. No, I want him to show, put him on top. So you see how I'm hanging over and then I had one more that I needed to find a home for and I, and I decided to do it. Normally I might have said no, but I thought it needed it and I thought it was cute just willy-nilly. Like honestly, just willy-nilly. It's hard to do willy-nilly. You do it well. No, I really, but I really don't. So you see I gave you a system. Now what we're going to do is turn this over and cut anything that hangs off. And that's what makes it look like finished, right? Isn't it cute? Like, oh my gosh, I think this is the cutest card. Yep. I really do. I love how it turned out. And I think it could work in any color scheme. Like I think if you, like if you wanted to make, didn't want to do pink, which my husband doesn't mind pink. Like if I sent him, if I gave him this, you wouldn't mind this card. Oh, absolutely not. I had a base. <laughs> I had a card base. Do you see my card base? It's is black. It right there under the blocks? The pack of blocks? No, it's black. I pulled a black card base on purpose for this card. Let me see if I hit it for myself. No? Um, did you put it up there on the shelf? I took it off the shelf, and then I put two back up here, but I'll take one of these. Well. I'll just use this. It's fine. Oh. It'll show up in a minute. It might be stuck to Scotty. Nope. Okay, so I'm using a black pre-made card base. And then I'm just going to take a little Scotty, and I'm breaking my own rule. And you can do that. They're your rules. Break them if you want to. Being, I'm putting two layers of foam. Because I put a couple of stamps on a piece of foam, and now I'm going to pop this up on foam, but I think it needed it. And I think everything, if those, um, if any of this flattens, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. So if you're a clean line person and you struggle with it, pick up Patina and Relic. Because I think they help us. Because we know how to stamp. You know what I'm saying? I'm just really bad at that whole water down paint, flick it. I don't like doing that. I don't like doing the, I don't, ha I don't like having mixed media stuff everywhere. It's just, but look, some people do. Part of the process for people is the mixed media part, and I get it. <coughs> and this way, all I got to clean up is my yucky fingers and all of my stamps, right? So there you go. Now, it's a black card, so you'll have to, um, you know, put a white piece in here or something in here and do the inside. But I think it's cute. <laughs> Bar said her hubby loves it. I named Scotty. Yes, this is using, let me show you all the stamp set that we're using so you'll know. Because I really do think that these two, I wish I had one. This is how old my relic is. It's not even on a backer. It's just here. Let me get some white paper and put under it. 
Um, this is Relic, and I think it's fantastic. If you don't have Relic, Relic is the one that we used to joke had bacon in it. <laughs> it's not. It can be bacon, actually. If you wanted to do a bacon and egg card, this would be cute. I might need to write that down. Bacon and egg card. That'd be cute. <laughs> um, and at one point in time, on my channel, I did videos with this, and it was, um, I made flowers out of I've, I've done so much with these sets, okay? Um, I, this one was not a stamp of the month, for sure, because it's a big one. This one could have been, but if it was, it would have been in like the first year or two that we did it. So these two I used. I also used the Fine Emotions, which is really, really old. Really, really old. Really old. <laughs> and then, of course, we used the Postcard Builder, which is brand new, So and it, it is a club set. So I thought these were fun to bring out and mix them up, right? I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so there's our card for today. Somebody said they felt it still looks symmetrical. Does it look? It doesn't look symmetrical. Okay, symmetrical by the by the definition of here and here being balanced. Okay, it is balanced. I will give you that. It is balanced. But this is something I struggle with. That whole look like I dropped it. I struggle with that. I'm much better at lining it up, which I think most people are. So, did y'all enjoy that one? You even have four minutes left. I did pretty good. Pretty good. You know, our waffle card and that bacon would be really cute. We, do, we go together like waffles and bacon. Waffles and bacon. That would be really cute. Because you can make that look just like bacon. Is I think I did it. No. Waffles and bacon. Mm -hmm. No. All right, we did it. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, you guys all need to come watch the after show. I'm going to let um, Tamitha put the link in. You need to come watch it. There's a couple reasons. One, we're going to talk to you about the 300,000 subscriber giveaway. Two, we have got, I've got some exciting stuff. Y'all, so we placed an order. Was it almost three weeks ago now? Yeah. Almost three weeks ago, waiting on it to come in. And yesterday, a semi truck with a pallet came in, and we were so, I, we've not been this excited since our very first order. <laughs> we were so excited to get an order in. Like, we have just been getting trickle in orders. Like, I think we have how many boxes coming from FedEx, and they come in one a day. We get mm -hmm. one a day. And so, to get ever how many boxes, we were so excited. And the stuff is kind of new stuff for the year, and we're really excited because it's some of the new releases, and we're able to share it with you. And also, I did a thing. And I want you to see the thing I did. I did a thing. So come back for the after show. The link is right there. I'm going to go ahead and end this one. And we'll head into the after show. And we'll see you there in just a second. Bye, guys. Bye now.